Hello students. We have learned about the asexual reproduction in the unicellular organisms and then multicellular organisms. Now we will start with sexual reproduction. The sexual reproduction always occurs with the two germ cells that is one from male and one from the female means two parents are involved in this reproduction. In this reproduction there are two processes. The first is gamete formation. In this step two gametes they are male gamete and female gamete they are formed from the germ cells. Two haploid gametes are formed from each of the germ cell. Means the chromosome number is reduced to half. That is if the chromosome number is 2n then it is uh, made half that is n and m. There are two parts of these chromosome numbers and thus by the process of meiosis the two haploid gametes are from, uh, formed from one diploid germ cell. Germ cell is diploid then it forms two haploid gametes. The male also and female also. Then the next step is fertilization. In this process uh, the one male gamete and one female gamete which are haploid, they unite with each other and they form a diploid zygote. Means the chromosome number of the male gamete and the female gamete is in the form of N. When they meet or they unite with each other, when there is a union of these two gametes, then again a cell is formed that is diploid means it contains the twin numbers of chromosomes that is diploid and that cell is called as zygote which is formed from the union of male gamete and female gamete. This is the fertilization. Students we will start now with the sexual reproduction in plants. Students, in plants, flower is a unit of reproduction. The flower is important part which takes part in the sexual reproduction in plants. First we will observe the parts of flower. There are four whorls. Char bhagastha, char whorls termamanta. Fulanche, char whorls, char bhag parta. The first whorl, outermost, that is calyx, this, this green part is the calyx. Then, inside that, the petals are corolla, calyx, then corolla, which is the pink part, see here, which we call as petals, pakra jala manto, to corolla. Then the third part is androsium. It is called as male whorl. Each androsium is consists of many stamens. See here, each stamen. Here are the stamens. This stamen has one anther at the upper end and a filament at the lower side. This androsium is male part. Many androsium, uh, many stamens come together, they form androsium. Then the innermost part is called as gynosium, that is female whorl, gynosium. And each member of gynosium is called as carpel. Here is the gynosium. The upper part of gynosium is called stigma. Then the tube-like part 
is called as a long tube that is the style and the lower part that is called as ovary ovary contains ovules here when flower contains both of these whorls that male whorl and female whorl that flower is called as bisexual flower and when only one of these two they are in one flower it is called as unisexual flower means when only androecium is present that is the male flower unisexual male flower when gynoecium is present only then it is the female flower or it is the unisexual female flower these are the parts of the flower students after that this flower uh, after the observation of the parts of flower we will start with fertilization process students we observe the figure of the parts of flower there are four whorls calyx corolla androecium gynoecium androecium is the male part gynoecium is the female part and the male whorl that is androecium consists of stamens stamens are there see here this is the stamen and this is the anther the upper part of this stamen is called anther and this is the filament this anther contains pollen grains and pollen grains from this anther they are transferred to the stigma of the gynoecium here is the gynoecium here is stigma then style and this is the ovary lower part is ovary ovary contains ovules these are the ovules ye chote chote je gola kare te ovules hai ithe pan dista ahe ye ovules hai ye ovules these ovules contains embryo sac manje ovary madhe ovules astat ye ovules madhe embryo sac asta sac sarka bhag embryo sac haz embryo sac ithe mota karun dakhavlela ek chota part jo hai to ithe mota karun dakhavlela hai now we will see the process of fertilization the pollen grains from anther they transfer to the stigma this is called pollination pollination manta tyala pollen grains anther pasun niktat ani te stigma var yon padtat tela pollination asa mantat this when this pollen grains are transferred on stigma they germinate there they germinate hotat and when they germinate a pollen tube is formed he pollen tube tayar hote and also two male gametes are formed two male gametes are formed from one pollen grain eka pollen grain pasun eka kana pasun don male gamete tayar hotat and hi ek pollen tube tayar hote pollen grains when germinate on the stigma a long pollen tube forms two male gametes forms a pollen tube carries these this male gametes and this tube reaches to the embryo sac ti kut paryanta yete reaches to the embryo sac and at the tip she the pollen tube bursts this pollen tube bursts at the embryo sac and the male gametes here are the male gametes they reached at the embryo sac here pollen tube bursts and these male gametes enter into the embryo sac the embryo sac madhe entry kartat ya golakar bhagat ata ithe dakha baga enter kelele ahet entry kelele when these male gametes enters in this embryo sac one male gametes unites with egg cell and it forms zygote tela zygote tayar karta tela झायगोट म्हणतात जी सेल तयार होते ती एक सेल आणि मेल गॅमेट एकत्र आल्यावर काय बनते झायगोट बनत दॅट इज कॉल्ड फर्टिलायझेशन त्याला म्हणतात फर्टिलायझेशन एक सेल आणि मेल गॅमेट त्यांचं युनियन होणं देन द अनदर मेल गॅमेट दोन मेल गॅमेट असतात पैकी एक गेलं एक सेलकडे सेकंड मेल गॅमेट युनाइट्स विथ पोलर न्यूक्लिया 
polar nuclei they are two polar nuclei so this male gamete unites with two polar nuclei hence it is called double fertilization yala manta double fertilization when male gametes unite with polar nuclei it forms endosperm manje polar nuclei unites with male gamete endosperm is formed endosperm ha ek poshak asa bhag asto pishvi sarka जो या एक्स सेल आणि मेल पासून जी झायगोट बनलेला आहे त्याच्या पोषणासाठी उपयुक्त असतो न्यूट्रिशन साठी अशा प्रकारे या एम्ब्रिओ सॅक मध्ये फर्टिलायझेशन ही प्रोसेस पूर्ण होते नाव वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दिस ओव्ह्युल्स स्टुडंट दिस ओव्ह्युल्स दे डेव्हलप्स दिस ओव्ह्युल्स डेव्हलप्स इन टू सीड्स म्हणजे ही एक ओव्ह्युल आहे आता ओव्ह्युल मध्ये जायगोट आणि एंडोस्पॉर्म तयार झाले याच्यापासून जायगोट येते एंडोस्पॉर्म ते जे आहे ते दॅट गेट डेव्हलप्ड इन टू सीड्स हे सगळे सीड्स मध्ये रुपांतरित होतं प्रत्येक ओव्ह्युल मध्ये एम्ब्रिओ सॅक प्रत्येकडे फर्टिलायझेशन होतं आणि सीड्स तयार होतात अँड द ओव्हरी डेव्हलप्स इन द फ्रुट ओव्हरी फ्रुट मध्ये डेव्हलप होते आणि हे ओव्ह्युल प्रत्येक सीड मध्ये डेव्हलप होतं now the next part is germination of seed ovules develop into seeds and ovary develop into fruit we have seen that after fertilization the fruit is there and seeds are in the fruit ovules they develops into seeds and ovary develops into fruit after fertilization then fruit breaks up seeds fall upon they scatter down they fall upon the ground and here the seeds fall upon the ground and the the endosperm which is formed inside this seed it nutris it gives nutrition to the zygote and zygote grows up and thus it grows up grows up and new plantlet is formed this is the germination of seed here the process of sexual reproduction is uh, in plants is completed